welcome to my channel. In this video I will tell you everything you need to know about airbrush makeup in just 5 minutes. Airbrush makeup was used for the first time in 1925 by Max Spector for the movie Ben-Hur in order to apply a fast body makeup on the many extras. The first documented use of an airbrush for a beauty makeup application was by Monty Westmore in Gone with the Wind. While the airbrush technique had always been a staple in special effects makeup, it was the advent of high-definition filming that propelled Hollywood makeup artists to produce and commercialize the first makeup formulas specifically designed for airbrush application. Ever since then, airbrush makeup has become the golden standard that all traditional products have been trying to emulate. These are the advantages of airbrush makeup. It's imperceptible. It creates high coverage. It's ultra-light. It's long-lasting. It doesn't transfer. It's hygienic. It's healthier. It's precise. It blends itself. And it's fast. A complete professional makeup application can be achieved in about 20 minutes. This is how it works. The skin, especially if dry, should be well moisturized before the application. If necessary, a suitable primer can be applied. Thanks to the airbrush, the makeup is nebulized in a fine mist of droplets that land on the skin in sheer layers, creating an effect similar to the pixels of a digital image and allowing it to transpire. By overlapping these sheer layers, the desired coverage is achieved and every part of the face can be made up this way. Water-based makeup can be removed with a normal cleanser, while for silicone or alcohol-based colors, a waterproof makeup remover might be better. Each airbrush kit is made up of an airbrush that is connected with a hose to a compressor. When we mention the word compressors, many people think of big, heavy and noisy machines. But thanks to the advancements in technology, the kits designed for airbrush makeup can provide all the power needed with a very contained size, often small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. The maximum allowed air pressure usable on human skin is in fact rather low, ranging from 2 to 20 psi, and never passing the 30 psi mark. With this in mind, beauty companies specialized in airbrush makeup have started producing palm-top, hose and cable-free mini compressors that can, in some cases, completely replace the traditional tabletop units. Those makeup artists specializing in body painting competitions or large-scale special effects will of course still need more powerful and heavy machinery. Airbrushes for makeup can work in continuous airflow mode, often called single action, or in double action mode, where you will have to push down on the trigger first to release the air before dispensing makeup. The difference between these two is minimal and not very important in terms of makeup application. Airbrushes are called gravity feed when the color is dispensed from an open reservoir at the top or siphon feed when the color is housed in a bottle at the bottom. The latter is more convenient when applying a single color on large surfaces as it is done in body painting. For beauty makeup on the face, gravity fed airbrushes allow for more speed and ease in mixing colors. Makeup for airbrush is mainly found in three formulations, water-based, silicone-based and alcohol-based. Dry skin should be prepped with moisturizer and primer might be needed. Water-based makeup is generally more undetectable and sets on contact. Silicone-based makeup tends to have a more traditional looking finish and remains movable for a while. Alcohol-based makeup is mainly used for body painting and has the fastest setting time. There are several brands that produce airbrush makeup. The most widely known are in the United States. All the way back in 1981, Dynair was the first to produce a water-based foundation that was specifically formulated for airbrush application and now has the widest range of products and colors. Tem2 followed a few years later with silicone-based lines. Both companies catered to both the professional and the consumer market. There are also many brands created for professional use only and other lines of products produced also in Europe by traditional makeup brands such as Krylan, Makeup Forever and Mac Pro. If you are in the United States, you can easily order directly from the brand's own website or from your favorite pro makeup store. If you're in Europe or in the rest of the world, you can check my website airbrushmakeupguru.com and there you'll find the most comprehensive directory of brands and distributors across the world. 
You will also find unsponsored in-depth reviews and step-by-step -step tutorials on all the different aspects of airbrushing, from eyeshadow and eyebrows to problem concealing and tattoo cover, including special effects application and the possibility of taking a live online class with me. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe to my channel and find me on Instagram at the Airbrush Makeup Guru.